Hi learner, my name is teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Headlim Learning Simplified. On grade 4, today's lesson on science and technology, we will continue with environment and uh, water pollution. And before we go deeper into water pollution, I would request we rewind ourselves from what we had learned last time on safety measures when working in an environment where there is air pollution. And from James, you can remind us, what did we say? Always when working in air polluted environments, we should wear mask. Why do we wear a mask? Victoria, you can rem remind us, why do we wear a mask? This is to prevent ourselves from inhaling dusty particles. That is correct. From inhaling dusty particles. We also said we should also wear safety boots or shoes which can protect us from arming ourselves. An overcoat to protect our inner clothes or clothes from being dirty. Those are some of safety measures we said we should observe when working in air polluted environment. And in our books, page number 31, we can check on pictures which are there. Can you pair in two and observe those pictures? We have picture A and picture B. What can you say or what can you see from picture A and picture B from Tom? Tom, you can remind us what can you see or you can tell us what you can see in picture A. Picture A, we can see dirty water. We can see dirty water, a water with a lot of dirt. And picture B, Jen, what can you see in picture B? Picture B, we have clean water. That is correct too. The water flowing down the river, it's very clean. Unlike in picture A, where the water flowing down the river is very, very dirty. Now in groups, what now can we say is water pollution? What can we say it's water pollution? From our dictionary, Please, can you observe or check the meaning of water pollution from your dictionary and tell me what is water pollution? And from our dictionary, we say water pollution is introduction of harmful substances into water. Or in other words, we say it's datifying water. Datifying water. That is what we call water pollution. And when water has become polluted, it is contaminated. So it is not clean for use. So we say the meaning of water pollution from our dictionary is water pollution. Water pollution is the introduction. Water pollution is the introduction of harmful substances in to the water. We have said water pollution is the introduction of harmful substances into the water. And we said once we introduce the harmful substances in the water, we already say the water is contaminated. We say the water is contaminated. So contaminated water, it is water which has been introduced with harmful substances. Now, who can tell us some of these harmful substances which can be introduced to water? Uh, like what? Examples of substances which can be introduced into water to become harmful or to be contaminated. Examples. Examples of these harmful substances. They include examples of these harmful substances include examples from you, Victoria. Can you tell us examples of harmful substances? Oil spillage, correct. Oil, when you pour oil in water, sources like a river, the water becomes polluted. That is correct. 
from your tongue, what other example can you remind us or tell us of that will make water contaminated or harmful to pollute that water? Yes, animal wastes. Animal wastes. Animal wastes. This reminds, of, reminds me of when we were young, we used to go to fetch water from the rivers. And once you reach the river, the donkey or the animals you have, they have to take water to drink that water. They will also urinate in that water or defecate in that water. And we say the water has been contaminated or polluted by animal waste. Another example from Tom, another example from Tom is soil. Correct. Soil is, can also pollute water. When we have soil erosion, the rain has poured, it will drain or take away the topsoil and drain it to the water bodies. And once it has entered into water, the water becomes polluted. That is correct. We have said water pollution is the introduction of harmful substances into the water bodies. And these substances will contaminate that water and all water becomes contaminated. And we have said examples. Examples of harmful substances are oil. When you pour oil or a vehicle has a leakage and it is being washed at a river or a water body, that washing is, you are contaminating water because the dirt from the vehicle enters the water and our water becomes polluted. We also fetch water or go to wash clothes in that river. So when you wash clothes in that river, you are also contaminating that water. So we say even washing clothes, washing clothes in rivers. When you wash clothes in rivers, the soap you are using, the dirty water you are cleaning your clothes, will be poured or will enter the water mainstream and the water becomes contaminated. That is correct. So we have said this, water pollution, introduction of harmful substances into the water sources or water bodies. And these harmful substances will contaminate that water. The water is not now safe to use either cleaning because now it becomes that. For example, when there is a lot of rain and the soil is taken to the river, the water in that river changes the color. And once the water has changed the color, you can neither wash your clothes with that dirty water, neither drink that water because it has been polluted. So we say polluted water is that water which has been introduced to that. Other examples are sometimes you drink water with the plastic bottles and now you throw them inside water. They also contaminate water and we say our water is not safe for use so it has been polluted an activity for us to do an activity an activity for us to do and before we embark on this activity i would request you tell me i would request you tell me ways on which water or samples examples of water which you find in our locality which has been contaminated or has been polluted. Along the roads, you maybe find water after the water has rain, after the rain has come, stagnant water around the roads, but you'll find a lot of plastics put or thrown inside that water. Those plastics have contaminated that water. You'll find also along the river dams or the dams along the rivers. There are a lot of plastic papers which have been thrown inside that water. And we say that water is also contaminated. We say that water is also contaminated and thus it becomes polluted. And thus it becomes polluted. An activity for us to do, I would like us we draw, draw and color a river draw and color a river with 
polluted water. Draw and color a river with polluted water. This is an activity for us to do. You draw and color a river with polluted water. And that marks the end of our lesson for today. Have a nice time.